everybody, it's me, Spicy Racy. I wanted to thank you so much for coming back to watch another episode of I Think I Can Make That. So what you're gonna need is some crayons. I happened to get the 64 crayon pack, a canvas, which I have too many of these, a hair dryer. This is my busted old Conair hair dryer. What I've seen done in the past is when people adhere a row of crayons, arranged somehow like a rainbow or all blues or whatever, and then they like make it melt and it's like all drippy. But I saw a different version on Pinterest where it's more like a watercolor splatter. Now a normal spicy ricey fashion, I did not actually read any of the instructions. I just looked at the picture and how hard is it? You melt wax onto this. So I don't know if there's like a special technique that they did where they hold it a certain way, but we're gonna find out. Roger Spicy is so excited. <laughs> Because I never make messes. I'm very, I'm a very clean person. What color should we pick, Mr. Spicy? All of the colors. Okay. First, you start off with all of the co- oh. I thought we forgot one. Now we got stuff like violet purple. That's not very exciting. Uh, this looks like an exotic color. Orchid. I like orchid because that sounds like a pretty name. I'm gonna pick a nice blue. This is Robin's Egg Blue. Red. Let's find a nice. Ooh, this looks sultry. It's a. Uh, it's just regular red. <laughs> Dandelion. We're making a bouquet. We almost have all the primaries basically. Yeah, except for orchid. That's a tertiary color. Let's go with, go with dark green. This one is asparagus. Asparagus. This one's pretty. This is sky blue. I like blue, so let's do a lot of blue. Uh, this is turquoise blue. Do you remember they had like the scratch and sniff Crayolas back when we were kids? And um, I just said Crayolas, crayons. Um, and there was a mac and cheese. I would always fight all the little kids in my school. This is Suru Clean. Suru Clean? Suru Clean? Suru Clean. It's a blue crayon. Let's do Periwinkle. Okay. One more, one more. Just one more. That's all I promise. This one's lavender. Well. Ooh, and I like this one too. This one's called Wisteria. Now, you peel your crayons. And this would have been great prep work to do prior to me shooting this video, but then we wouldn't know all the cool colors that they were, right? Right. And, you know what? This seems like too much work. Skip the peeling off. I'm pretty sure you just turn on the hair dryer and you melt it onto the canvas. How hard that could that be? Nice and hot the way I like it. Let's do hot. should get over the table and plug it in. So, uh... <laughs> Did you blow out the power? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally going in the video. Welcome back! As you saw, I blew the power strip and now it's dead. So let's take a moment of silence for the power strip. Alright, we're back! Let's keep going! Okay, so I'm done! Well, done with the crayon part. This is what I made. So that's pretty cool. You can make a cool piece of art for your wall for a relatively cheap. Now, oddly, this kind of looks like it could be in the shape of the Americas. It's, uh, it's not. It's 
flowers. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'll probably go in there later with some black pen or I'll probably like scratch out the details of the leaves with like a sharp tool so that way you can really tell that flowers and maybe add some little details. I like it. Do you like it, Mr. Spicy? Mr. Spicy gives it two thumbs way, way up. And really, with this kind of art, you know, you, they're just, the art doesn't stop until you stop. This has been another semi-successful, I think I can make that except for the power going out and everything. I want you guys to go ahead and try this, and if you try it, make sure and send me, like, your guys' pictures. You can always use the hashtag. I was like, is that really the hashtag? I, I don't know. C M T. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you didn't know, I have two other channels. I have a vlog channel where I post every Wednesday, and I have a cosplay channel that I share with my husband, Mr. Spicy, where we take you around conventions and we give you all around positive vibes. So please, if you haven't already, go subscribe to those. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content, and we'll see you later.